So we should be bringing you uh, an interview with one of the Irish Men's Opens players. Barry, will your lead on that one. Rex, thank you for joining us. Uh, it's been a, been a pleasure to have your insight alongside. Sorry you only got to use uh, Elliot McDermott's flattest passing tag once, but, uh, but there we are. Uh, just to bring you up to date on all of the round two results before Rex leaves us. Uh, great, uh, in fact, uh, Rex, I'll, uh, sorry, I'll, I'll give you the opportunity to sign off first before I run through the results because that'll take me a little bit longer. Well, no, thanks for having me, Will. It's been great to, to make my commentary debut. Just a shame that the boys couldn't, couldn't do what they, uh, they wanted to. But it's always tough against the Irish. I don't think we've ever had a series, in fact, where we've had a BNI Cup against them where we've had there hasn't been at least one game where they, they do something uh, to make it either really, really difficult to win or they beat us. So they've, they've done really well there and well done to them and shows that we still have a fair bit of work to do in this month and a half before the World Cup. Thank you, Rex, uh, and good luck to Ireland Men's Open as they uh, go into the World Cup with a nice win under their belt. GB, two wins and a series under their belt, uh, but plenty to work on after that third test there. So, uh, as promised, the, the results from round two. Um, we knew about the, the men's 30s winning 8-0, men's 40s. Uh, Ireland winning that one 6-5 mixed open, which we're about to see next. Great Britain won 13-8. Women's 30s was won 7-0 by GB. Women's Open won 4-1 by GB. And mixed seniors won 8-6 by Ireland. Uh, the exhibition game between GB and Ireland women's 35s went 2-1 to Ireland. So that exhibition category still all to play for. And coming up next, we have got the mixed open uh, that game kicking off in just a minute. Uh, Barry will come back on commentary alongside you here. And I'll be back momentarily. Okay, so here we go. This is the decider for whether this is a win for GB or a draw. With uh, the first game having been an 8 all draw and the second game having been a 13-8 win for GB. Ireland will be looking to put down a marker here for the World Cup and try to claw this one back get it back to level pegging so it'll be interesting to see how this game goes and GB will be looking to close out the category and get the win they need to do that so here we go second half about to start Ireland receiving GB kicking GB up to go short looking to go for the 10 but it Neve Doran's up quickly to catch the ball. Barry Sutton on the ball now. He looks to go outside. Michelle O'Driscoll is with him. Michelle O'Driscoll is ready to take the ball into D. Roberts. D. Roberts opts to go out to Luke Fitzgerald. Luke Fitzgerald offers, off, off, opts to ring the ball up. And he's tagged in midfield. And he rustled with the option outside. D. Roberts back inside to Michelle O'Driscoll. Michelle O'Driscoll is well tagged by GB. GB's defence going well so far. Luke Fitzgerald opting to go outside again to Barry Sutton. Barry Sutton is tagged just as he looked to break the line. Dave, Ma Dave Maloney on the ball now. Dave looks to go down the line, but he's well tagged by GB, and it's a turnover. So that will be uh, first possession to GB since they kicked off at the start of the match. So GB look to attack down the wing, and they have a bit of time and space, but it's well covered by Sutton. Sutton makes a good tag. Got to say, GB looking to go wide. But Ireland yeah, defending quite well with uh, D. Roberts making the tag in midfield. Roberts looks to make the tag, but she missed. But she hustles and she makes the second attempt. Gets a tag in the middle. GB making good yards. Pointer on the ball now. He looks to offload and it's back outside. Ireland are caught for numbers on the, on the narrow side. But GB off to come back in. Just lucky for Ireland. And it's a knock on, it'll be Irish possession. Good mark there, guys. Well, well. That's back to Luke Fitzgerald. Luke Fitzgerald off to go outside to Michelle O'Driscoll. Michelle O'Driscoll down the wing. Annie Russell is offering herself as an option, but Michelle opts to go. She gets tagged. It's back inside to Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald looks to throw the pass to Maloney. Maloney looks to break. He gets tagged just on halfway. So Ireland with. Uh, about to go into the GB half for the first time in the match and it's outside to Annie Russell she does well to catch the ball even though it's a high pass it's back inside again to Michelle O'Driscoll she opts to pass 
Pops again to that was the attempted intercept by GB. McComb on the ball back inside to Luke Fitzgerald. Luke Fitzgerald opts to go wide. But now he takes it inside himself and he gets tagged in midfield. Good defence by GB. Even game so far. GB defending really well. Dave Maloney opts for the kick through, but it's too far to McComb and it's gone too far. The ball's gone dead. Yep, happy. Uh, it's a good start to the game by both sets of teams. You can see it's fairly evenly matched. Yellow. But neither team threatening the try line just yet. Vice captain of Great Britain Mixed Open, Lucy Riddler, Ten takes one. the ball up for us and then passes yep. in the young guns, Alex Ryan. Superstar in Yorkshire men's open final tag nationals against East London. Riddler yes, caught as the uh, the defender comes running through. Accidental I think, but uh, still a bit of a hefty knock. Ryan involved yeah. once again. Tries Take to get the ball away, but is tagged. Probably yes, better for mix, uh, for GB that that happened than not, so that uh, they didn't Solid lose tennis. possession. Ten, and Powell, four, good ten. short kick and able to pick it up before the tag. Ryan trying to get a well kill so to far. run a switch line, oh, dances through, well tagged by O'Driscoll as you say. And it's five. Last tag is set. Up for the kick through, but they don't get it. McComb could be away Ten. here. One. He's pulled back Ten. by the shorts, but the ref's just going to say play on. Good. It's back outside by Higgins. Tag. It's looking to pass. Contact. Inside and the referee Contact. gives a uh, turnover for contact. Contact penalty against, uh, against Ireland. And here is Rich Ten. Milford. Uh, he has been an incredibly talented player in Chai Tag Rugby Leagues for so, so long. Finally got his opportunity at international level in the BNO last year for Great Britain. And has soared to new heights this year captaining his country for the first time. Huge honour for him and incredibly well deserved. A kill tag on, tag on this left hand side and Ryan will pick it up and pass over to the right hand side. It's good defence by GB. Tagged. Again good tag in the middle Let's by uh, Neve Doran. You got your mark there. It's tag five again, again, so GB need to do something here on the on the Shannon oh, over to Campofiano, <laughs> the uh, Italian you international cricketer. Penalty offside. Penalty given to yeah. Great Britain. Not a cool Barakiri would have made. No, I thought that was a bit harsh. Tag on Campofiano before the loose pass to Poppy Barker on the wing. Shannon finds Ryan. Campofiano, and it's out over the touchline. Lucky for Ten Ireland because contact. our overlap was in and in the corner. Had the pass been to no, hand, then GB the may well have been in for a score. That's, yeah, there. Find the man. So Ireland have to bail out now from the back. Good timing. Keep that up. Always difficult to do. <laughs> Tag. One. Ben Vargas. Tag Tag two. Okay, so Ireland still stuck down at their line Thank and are struggling to get out. GB are up nice and quick. Like Ireland probably need to kick. Like they need to have something. They go wide through D. Roberts. Jack Higgins looks to make the break. <laughs> and again, they look to go wide again. And Kiralee, he's on the ball now. Kiralee, he with no time, real time and space. Tom Newman on the ball. He ups the pass inside. It's back to D. Roberts. D. Roberts throws a cut out pass to Michelle Driscoll. Michelle Driscoll inside. with the kick. It's a good kick for, for territory. <laughs> Someone needs to get up there to make the <laughs> make the make the uh, tag, but now it uh, it goes over the end line and it's going to be uh, it's going to be tap ten to Great Britain. But what a boot! What a boot by O'Driscoll. Yeah, Michelle O'Driscoll is a Gaelic player, and you can see it there in her nice uh, kicking style. Absolutely. She plays uh, rugby as well uh, in the top division in Ireland, so you can see she's well able to kick the ball. First look at Reese Walker, very momentarily there, recovered from an ankle injury at Tag Nationals to be able to play today. Kieran Pointer puts in the kick, regathers it after it was played out by Ireland. So it should be six again to GB. Eventually is tagged, just short of halfway. Ryan White finds Walker, Cod, almost breaks through. On the wing. Pointer to Shannon. Still going and Dead. finds Freya and Twistle on that left wing. She makes Three. some more ground herself. 
pointer, the miss pass to Walker. The little kick, regathers. Okay guys, can't fall on the board to the fender. Tap there. Penalty to yes. Great Britain. Six yes. more tags. Walker yeah. calmly takes it up on the first one. Cod to White. Shannon running with pace on the ball. To Pointer. Dangerous here. Pointer as Switches the flare and twistle. That's a good tag by Higgins on the line. Pointer's missing his tag. He can still make the pass. One pass, one step. Shannon tries to twist through. Not able to. White to Walker. To camp off the yard. Over to the right hand side. But it's a good tag by Nicole. In the corner. Well, Poppy Barker will be frustrated not to have gone over there to score the try for Great Britain. Great Britain. It's not a good tag by Ireland. But Ireland under a lot of pressure here. Great work, great work. Great Britain stacking numbers over to the left. Pointer. Tagged by Ben Doggett. And it will be Ireland that get the changeover. Good mark there, Ireland. Well ball. Still nil-nil. Yes, Eight and a half minutes yes, played in this one. Tight, tight game. You can see why the first game was a draw and the second game was a, was a tight win for GB by five points, which isn't much in mixed. Michelle Driscoll just off to take it up herself. No real out options outside because people have been subbing on. That's out to Sutton. Sutton back to Luke Fitzgerald. Luke Fitzgerald to Annie Russell, but it's a bit too loose to pass, and it Great goes pass. into touch. Probably was forward as well, so it'll be GB ball. Just try and stop the mark here. Go for it. Let's pull pass. Yeah, find her, find her. Roll ball. Yeah. Tag one. Go one. Good Thanks attack by GB. There's a lot Good of GB. Have had a lot of ball. Tag two. Kieran Pointer is atta attracting line, players to him. Yeah, lots of ball as you say, Barry, but still nothing on the scoreline to show for it. That may well change if Milford has anything to do with it. Walker will feed it back in field to no. Amp out. No, nope. an error for Great Britain. Ireland take over once again. Pressure relieved again. Yeah. GB unlucky there, just took the roll incorrectly, so Ireland got the ball back. Kearney and the ball, but no time and space to do okay. anything. Luke Fitzgerald opts to pass inside Take to Dave Maloney. Dave Maloney yeah, makes a couple of metres, but not much. To be honest, are really work. hemmed in by GB at the moment and are really struggling to get any momentum on the ball. They look to go wide right yeah. through Sutton. Sutton is tagged just short of the Irish 10 metre line. It's back inside to Roberts. Roberts to Luke Fitzgerald on the ball now to Maloney. Maloney with a space now. He opts for the kick through. It looks good if he can get the hand on the ball, but unfortunately he can't. Well, he couldn't, but that's so nearly worked for Ireland. So nearly. GB hold out. Halfway through this first period. And it remains nil-nil. Tag, Yet ten, another Tag, tight Tag. encounter. Great work, great work. If you've been following along all day, you probably don't have any fingernails left, whether you're British Tag, or two. Irish. Walker tagged 10 short of halfway, and Towerton, assistant coach of this side, will play the role ball. Feeds it into Ampau, another assistant coach. He manages to find some space on that right-hand side. Keeps the play going. Reese Walker with the early kick. Played at by Ireland. If this ends up back in GB hands, it would have been six again. It doesn't. It is Ireland that take over. Ireland at the 10-meter line now. You'd wonder if Sutton goes, blocks to go down the line. But he's tagged. Just short of halfway. Several meters gain there. So Maloney on the ball again to Luke Fitzgerald. Luke Fitzgerald's off to go outside to Annie Russell. Annie Russell. Takes it at pace, she goes into the British half and she's just short of 10 metre line. So it's Jay Roberts on the ball now, looks to go back inside to McCoon. McCoon is tagged. Roberts on the ball, she wants Luke Fitzgerald outside as the option. Luke Fitzgerald looks to go to Sutton. Sutton looks to take it on inside. He looks to pass to Kerry Leahy, but unfortunately the pass doesn't go to Hannah and it's turnover just over the 10 metre line in the GB half. Again, this game is yep. very, very even. Up you go. That nail all. Tag one. Kira Lee makes a tag in this corner. It's good defence by Ireland so far. Point there is causing a lot of again. problems, it has to be said. Attracting players to him and creating space for others and also often getting the offload away. Oh, yeah. 
slightly well, ropey pass from Ampad, but Ryan makes the best of it, puts again. in the kick. Six again for Great Britain. Riddler plays it to the right to Ampau again. He puts well, in again. the kick. Interesting decision on tag one of this. McCoon looks to counter. Refresh he set. the line, he's dangerous. McCoon might make it to the corner, it's possible, he's quick. He's very yeah. quick, but a kill. Wonderful right. effort to track yeah. that. Great tag. Great Whams tag. the tag into the ground. He needs to be down. careful with that. He doesn't get called for throwing the tag beyond the mark. Tag two. By me. By me Good left. break by Connor McComb there. It's back inside to Michelle O'Driscoll. Michelle O'Driscoll looking for an option. Neve Darn offers it. Good luck here. But Good she's luck. tagged Go just sort of the line. So it's back inside by the Neve Darn to Dave Maloney. Dave Maloney to Luke Fitzgerald. Luke Fitzgerald to pop out pass outside to Higgin. Higgins back inside to one. Nicole uh, Rafferty who gets tagged and back again to Luke Fitzgerald. He's on the ball again and he looks to go wide to Maloney. No try, and it's context. a penalty for contact against the Ar Ireland. Yeah, ran straight into Ampal, the defender who was completely stationary. Ampal did manage to make the tag despite the contact, uh, but uh, yeah. no opportunity for a yeah, try there by yeah. Ireland in the end. It's going to be a penalty tap on the 10 metre right line yeah. for GB. Alex Ryan over the ball. <laughs> Another penalty. The right. Right. Discipline, Aaron. You're on, you're on. Ryan goes again. Tag the fifth one. Michelle yeah. Ten short of halfway. Not phase at all, but giving right. away the penalty for the rock. The ball. Just makes the next tag. Good play. Tag. Shannon. Good play by the Irish de defensive line as Higgins makes another good tag. Ireland needs to be up quick here. You feel GB are starting tag to move the ball three. quite well. It's a good tag again by Ireland, by Neve Doran. And it's Dave Maloney who makes the tag. It's back again to Maloney. It's half blocked by Ireland. Picked up by uh, Neve Doran and it's back to Dave Maloney outside to Ben Dogger. Ben Dogger. Makes a nice little half break and it's back to Sutton, back inside to Jack Higgins, Jack Higgins outside to Tom Newman, Tom Newman to Michelle O'Driscoll. Tom three. Newman on the ball now inside to Jack Higgins who offers himself a, as an option. He opts for the kick through, will he make it? Take well, but he makes the tag in the corner. Hold, hold, hold. By Quite Alicia work, Ahmed, work. she is immediately tagged as you say by Doggett. Tag. Great Keep brilliant, trying to You're come down. away from her own line here, still Alex Ryan on the tag. field. Working tirelessly for Great Britain. Cod, a little kick and go herself. Riddler was an option outside. It has ended up unused. A kill. Steps in through the gap. Oh, and the amazing change of direction. He was completely set for the right hand touch line. Twisted and turned to the left. And GB can keep on coming here. The miss pass shipped over, bounces in front of Cod. She shows good patience to clear that one up. On, Campo. Campotiano with the kick and gather. Good kick. Tag tag me. Good tag by D. Roberts. New set of tag. six signalled by John O'Hunting and the referee. Still nil nil. Just Keep over four left in this half. GB really want to use this set of six and get the opening score. Play on simultaneous. Shannon, and, uh, an interesting choice to kick. Sutton has the option to go outside, but he opts not to do it. Potentially, he should have. Yeah, potentially the overlap there, Barry. Could have potentially taken advantage Boom. of it. Tom Newman One on the ball. Get out of there. Drop it. Back to Kiridi, back inside to Jack Higgins. Jack Higgins. Looking for options, take doesn't three, really have any. Neve Doran is there to take the roll, and it's back Mark outside to D. Clear. Roberts. D. Roberts offs to go to Ben Doggett. Ben Doggett asks for the kick through. The kick looks like it might sit up for him, but he puts his foot into touch, unfortunately. So it's going to be a turnover. GB ball. Both these sides giving one another a real run for their money. Neither yet able to make the breakthrough across the whitewash. Working out, Orange. Stuff. And Ireland are up again. Ireland are a bit slow coming up this time. A bit disjointed, but they make the tag. Uh, no good bird. tag by Jack Higgins. Not oh, able to twist the hips quite enough to get through there. Involved again, though. No. That time he does beat the first defender. Ten inside the Irish half. Time stopped by Huntingdon. The two players falling over themselves there. Daro Brian and 
Rich and Milford. The referee wants to make sure they're both okay. No player really at fault. Okay. Okay, Brian's effort to make the tag. He ended up on the ground and as Milford attempted to get back to the mark. Ireland have no one over him. Susceptible to a kick through potentially. And there is that kick through from Pointer. Advantage for the late tag on the kick. Six again for Great again. Britain. They go to the left through Shannon. Milford outside him. There's the gap. Take but not able to get through. Good tag by Kearley. Stunning tag. Tag one. Good tag covering one. tags by Connor McHugh. Ireland under a good bit of pressure, though, it has to be said. The dive from Milford. No, it's a tag, is it? He's Outside. confident. Huntington awards it. Great Britain get the opening score. It's taken nearly 18 minutes for the two teams to break the deadlock, and ultimately it is GB no, 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 that get that first yeah, one. A single mine. point try to the captain, Rich Milford, as he dived over near the left-hand corner. Great Britain won, Ireland nothing. And just under two left in this first half. One no! The sense it's going to remain close throughout, Barry. Hard enough to feel the ball now, see if they can respond. Timing, timing, hold it, hold it, timing, hold it, offside advantage. Grace Goggins on the ball, she gets tagged just in the, cor yes. just in the corner, but it looks like it's offside. Connor, Connor McCoom come, looks to come down the line and he gets tagged, so it's Michelle O'Driscoll on the ball now. Back inside to Neve Dorn, who offers herself as an option, she's tagged. Back to Michelle O'Driscoll and back inside to Tom Newman. Tom Newman looking for the option. He goes okay. short to Barry Sutton. Three. Sutton is tagged in midfield and it's oh that back to Doran again. Uh, Tom Newman's looking for the option. He's back outside to Barry Sutton. Barry Sutton opts for the kick through. Again, it's in the corner. Dangerous, but ultimately does go just too long for Ireland. Calm heads from Freya Intwistle and from Kieran Pointer to let that one go over the line. As soon as it hit the ground, the ball was dead. And GB are rewarded with a tap on their 10 meter line taken by Charlotte Towerton and Powell now. Plays the ball left to Campofiano. Slightly overrun the mark there and it's got to scramble back. There's the final play Hooter in this first half. And Powell just happy to take the tag. Huntington says there's time left in it. Doesn't appear to have heard the hooter. Half and he is he is going to just double check here no, and then cool <laughs> half time. Great Britain won. Ireland nothing. <laughs> Barry, can we not have Sorry. a calm <laughs> one way game that, that one. Uh, allows us to breathe? One, Every right? single one of these is just right up there for entertainment value and some of the tensest games of town of tag rugby you'll ever see. Yeah, very true. This game is finely poised. One nil at half time. It's anyone's game at the moment. You probably would favour GB because they're in the lead after that really tight first half. Slightly, probably had slightly more possession, slightly more territory. Uh, but Ireland have held them out up till now. Ireland will get their chance in the second half. So again, it's a bit similar to earlier. First score in the second half is absolutely crucial. Whoever gets it, you suspect, may actually win this game. It's such a tight arm wrestle. And to illustrate just how important this game is and just how close the two nations are, five of the seven eligible categories this year have already been decided. Great Britain won the first two games of the Women's Open category and the first two games of the Women's Open 30s category. They won both of those. They won the men's open. We saw that up on the, the, the pitch last time. Even though Ireland won the third test, GB did win the series. So they have already got three series under their belt. Ireland have wrapped up two, mixed seniors and men's 30s. If Ireland win this game, Barry, mixed open doesn't count, 1-1. One, one. It's taken out of the equation unless we come down to games one and even then points difference. So if Ireland win here, it all hinges on the men's 40s game <laughs> currently taking place on pitch three. Unfortunately for viewers, uh, that one is not live stream. That one is being recorded by the, the video camera and results will be available, uh, or footage from that will be available after the tournament. 
We will try and bring you the result from that men's 40s game as soon as we have it. But if Great Britain win here, they take the mixed open series for the first time in a very long time, Barry. Uh, and they would, in doing so, also take the overall crown this year. But that is 20 minutes of incredibly tight, incredibly competitive tag away from us. Anything can happen. The B and I can go either way at this point. It's exhausting, Barry. It's like this every time now, Will. It nearly always comes down to the last set of matches. This time the split of categories might be different, but uh, the result is in the mix. It always is when we get near we get near the business end. So at this point, you'd have to favour GB, but we'll we'll see we'll see what happens over the next 20 minutes, and then we'll find out. It might may well come down to the 40s. So it just depends. All depends on this result. If GB can hold on to their lead here and win, then they will win uh, the category, and they will also win the British and Irish Cup. So it's all down to the, the, the Irish Mixed Open team now to stop them. So it should be a very, very, very interesting second half. Okay, we're just waiting for the halftime hooter to go, and then we will start the second half. Here we go. Should be any second now. Looks like uh, Ireland starting the second half with uh, Dave Maloney taking the kickoff. We're just waiting for the hooter here, which hopefully should be any second now. One nothing, Great Britain. One nil to GB. Remember, this is mixed international tag rugby, so you can get one, two, or three point tries. I'm not even going to ask you for your prediction, Barry. This game could go any possible way. It would take a fool to call it. Yeah, at the but moment, the first half was so even with the try scored almost at the end in the 17th or 18th minute. Up until that point, it was 0-0 and like really did look like it would be anyone's game. So one, a couple of points would be low scoring in mix, but sign of a good standard of a game. We just have to see what Ireland do now. Newsom on the field for the first time for mixed open. Ryan involved once again. Two. To Riddle. Michelle just going to make the tag in the middle as she has done all throughout the day. She has been so solid, but now oh, Ryan nearly oh, skipping tag through. By Michelle Driscoll yet again. Yeah. <laughs> Even when it looks like people are through, she somehow manages Standing to claw that tag back. And Powell up to halfway. Barry Sutton on the far wing. Milford feeds it back in field. Bryant to Newsom on the switch. There's Towerton, does I find Ampal. Little pass over the top. Advantage play to Great Britain. He's got Milford outside him for the corner. Tag, Tag is made by Ireland. Six again, signalled by Huntingdon. Yeah, inside for the red zone well. of Ireland. Ampal goes himself. Tag though. Five more tags, five more metres. Good pickup from Ryan. Calmness belying his years. Play on. Newsom. I think so, Alan. Come on, leave it to me. Two Tag here. snatched from his right hip me, right? as Ahmed comes in off the wing to play dummy half. Ryan with the miss pass to Ampal, juggles it, reaches it back in. Milford to Towton, lost so forwards chance goes for Great Keep Britain. Knock on. Ireland hold out. The first the stern test of the Go second half. Yeah, that's good. yeah, Ireland did well to, to, to oh force the error there from it's GB. Funny, They'll look to get out now. Neve Doran beats the first one. one. The second one gets her, but it's good yards. It's a nice 10 metres by Nick Do and Neve Doran. And back inside now. Or Higgins back to inside to Maloney. Maloney gets tagged in the middle, though. Higgins on the ball now. He looks to go outside to D. Roberts. D. Roberts has options outside. Ben Doggett on the ball. Annie Russell gets tagged just in the corner. Ben Doggett again. It's back to D. Roberts again. Ireland, D. Roberts uh, to Higgins. Higgins gets tagged in midfield. 
really good defence by GB. Ireland not really making metres here at all. Ben Dogger off through the kick tree, you would think it was probably too high. And yes, indeed, the ref yeah. awards the changeover for the kick being too high. Yeah, Ireland should have tapped that short side there. Ahmed for Great Britain limping. It looks like she took a stud to the ankle. It would have been uh, a, an advantage for Ireland if they'd gone down that left flank. There's Shannon trying to twist and turn, but not Good able to get through. In the middle. Ryan carrying the ball on his shoulder ball, like he's mate. burping a baby. Riddler to, to Shannon. Break, but they're a little bit Take slow. It's good decision by Annie Russell to shoot. She makes the tag. Yeah, shuts Behind down that option on, on the right side, didn't she, Barry? She did well there. GB with numbers outside, though. Campopiano darts back inside, goes for the kick. Great decision the yeah. Yeah. McComb has the ball now in open field. But he just got tagged. He's very dangerous, as we know. So it's back to Higgins again. Higgins has to go himself They're rather two. than make the pass to yeah. back to Neve Doran and back inside to Dave Maloney. Dave Maloney looking to make yards back outside to Lucas Cheryl. Lucas Cheryl doesn't quite have a support runner there. He makes the roll fast to uh, Dave Maloney. Dave Maloney back inside to Higgins. Higgins outside to Michelle O'Driscoll. Michelle O'Driscoll to McComb. McComb is tagged in midfield, though. It's good defence by GB. And it's tag five, Ireland has to do something here now. So what will Ireland do? Luke Fitzgerald on the kick. ball. He passes Maloney, looks like he has time and space, Knock potentially. We'll but the ball one, looks two. like it's gone into it. Gone, in, gone dead and it's gonna, be, it's gonna be GB ball. Mark, your mark is in Just went dead in the corner, yeah, Maloney couldn't quite get there. In 10, yeah, out yeah. 10, 4 GB into the hands of Shannon. Good tag by step Ireland. Up to the defensive line. Rowan White. You feel Ireland need to be up quick here and they need to make the tags. They need to force an error. They need to get the ball in the GB half of the pitch, which they haven't really for the last kind of 10, 15 minutes of the game. Quick hands from Walker to Pointer. Back to Walker. Still GB go. Tags missed on Walker. Dave Maloney has the opportunity to get up and get back and make the tag, which he does. He did well there. He did do well. It's back inside. Ireland with no one at home. Perhaps right for a kick through. Take four. Tag, fortunately, from a great Britain point of view, made on Campopiano. That little pop over the top to Prairie Round Twistle. Well over her head into the touch over the touch line. Walker juggles. Finds Shannon. Shannon with the kick. McCoom has time. He does. Can he get open? He can. Oh, and he, he meets the, beats he beats the, the first one. Take one. But he's tagged by the, the second covering defender, and Ireland have the ball just short of their 10 metre line. That was caught in the back end. Came in Newman, and Newman the off to go outside. Tag two. Looks like Ireland have an injury there. Player Five pulling up. Yeah, Shannon down for Great Britain. This uh, concern for GB. He's been full of running so far. Looks like both players yeah. got semi injured Brilliant. in that one. Come on. Accidental contact. So, still scoreless in the second half as Ireland look to attack the advantage. line. Again, they're coming down the wing. They opt for the kick through, but it goes into touch. Come back there on the dotted line. So, it's back to Ireland. It was, must have been a free Late play for offside. Kira Lee on the Good ball now. Time and space. Take one. She has to try and come in, but she doesn't quite yeah, manage lovely. it. It's outside pass, doesn't go to hand, but Michelle O'Driscoll has it. Michelle O'Driscoll goes herself. She gets tagged in the middle. Ireland with a bit of field position now. It'll be interesting to see if they can work anything. Connor McComb on the ball. But he, he runs into the defence, and it's going to be it's going to be a penalty for contact. So we'll have a stoppage here while McComb is uh, ferried off the pitch. Just had the uh, result confirmed from the third and final men's 30s test. Yeah. Oh, the 50-50 there. And that one ended 9-5 to Ireland, so they get a, a whitewash in the men's 30s. Remember, if we are tied on categories, the first tiebreaker will be the number of games won. That a very important result for Ireland, especially in light of the men's open ending up 2-1. GB unable to get the clean sweep there on games one it is advantage Ireland right. hey guys, there was incidental. Just more though, okay? pointer 
standing no over the ball with the penalty okay. to come for GB as players the take the go. opportunity Very to good. applaud right. the injured Irish and player leaving field. the field. Oh, and yes. we hope will be back on before the end of the game. With the World Cup on the horizon, he might feel he's best to just sit the rest of this one out. Towerton makes some good ground and gets the penalty. White spills that ball. in midfield there, and Ireland have a little bit of field position with six tags. If she's giving you the ball, we're not taking it quick, and you're on the mark. So find each other, take it again. The ref offers to get them to reset. I think because the GB player wasn't quite where the mark was, confusing the Irish players. Higgins looks to go back inside, back inside to one there. Lovely interlinking play from Ireland there, gained them some good ground. Yeah. Driscoll as so often before on the end of it all. Outside to D Roberts, D Roberts inside to, to Nicole Rafferty, making her debut for Ireland today. Back by Roberts inside, Luke Fitzgerald on the ball now. Luke looks like he's put someone into the box, has he? And it's a box try for Ireland. It is. Ireland score first in this second half. Oh, and it is a box try. And that's a lovely try. pass from, uh, from Luke Fitzgerald. Let me put it down before I talk to you. Come here, Great little piece of play by Luke Fitzgerald. Two, nice dummy and then lovely offload to Tom point. Newman who went straight into the box for a try. GB1, Ireland 2. This game has swung towards the team in green. It is Reese Walker who fields the ball just in front of his try line on that restart. Gets it to point it. Who juggles it on his chest. We'll go back there and create play the ball. No advantage. Come back there. It's a call back for, pen for penalty, I think. Penalty GB for contact. Or pulling the shorts. The ref's a little unclear, but I think that's what it's for. Yeah. Great Britain taking the tap. Right oh. through the middle. Who's with her? Wonderful fake. Oh, he was late tackle. Good, good fake by GB there. They get to move down the line. It's good ball outside. GB with time and space. Milford still going. Slides left and then forward oh, through the defenders. The Ampal. The GB mispass have to Walker. Space outside. Walker. Haskell doesn't make it and it's a try. He calls. And it's 2 all. Equals the score 2-2. Two, two. What a try by Walker, but what a try by Great Britain altogether. Half the team involved in that one. It's the initial Two break one. by Rowan White up the middle. Milford gains some more ground. Two Quick two. passing from Ampau over the top. And Walker just slides his way through. O'Driscoll, she's not missed the tag today, but even someone of her ability just not able to get over there to make that tag on Reese Walker. 2-2. Two, two. We waited. The entire oh first half for a try, and we've already had two in this one. one. Well, GB with time and space haven't opted to take the kick off early. It's good tag in the Tag's corner. Sorry. Sorry. Tag here, tag two. It's back. Back to uh, back inside. GB looking for the try. I think it's a score oh. for GB and 4 2 lead. My goodness. Two points. My goodness. Wow. A sleepy moment in defence from Ireland. And Towerton is able to cross. And that's a two point score. It's that's a 4 2 lead. It's the largest lead either side has yeah, had in the game. Two. Three tries in a matter of minutes. This game swung from GB to Ireland. Back to it's level. And GB again now in the lead. Yeah, GB back in control of this game, having looked like that the momentum might have been going back the other way. But back to Sutton on the ball now and uh, error back inside from Ireland compounds their Bobby. current frustration. Find the line, Orange. All stacked to the right here, GB Towerton to Riddler. Go on. Newsom will play it back. To the left, and Powell and Towerton linking up. Ryan knocks it forward and immediately frustrated with himself. He got to chase up. He's lucky, but Ireland weren't able to take immediate advantage of that and go the length. Back outside to Aldrisco, Aldrisco to Doggett. Doggett back to Jack Higgins. Jack Higgins back inside to Roberts. 
Robert sees Set. an option, she doesn't Green have one. Please. She gets tagged. Jack Higgins on the ball, he's spoken to Hughes, well. Sutton outside, Sutton does well, but he's, he's tagged by the second cover. Did you and you see that snatch from Alicia Ahmed? The pace of the Irish attack, herring upfield, and Ahmed just stuck out a left mitt and grabbed the orange tag. Shadow Driscoll looks to go outside to Doggett, Doggett to Grace Goggins on the far wing. Goggins get tag, gets tagged, and it's back to Doggett again, back inside to Michelle Odrisco, back to Tom Newman. Tom Newman looking for options, he goes for Jack Higgins, Jack Higgins opts for the kick through, Cut. doesn't make it. Can Fotiano calmly clears that up. And Great Britain have tag six two. tags to ease Orange the pressure here. here. We are still only six minutes into this Take second three. half, although as I say oh, that, I notice the there. clock has stopped, so that isn't actually where we are in this second half. This is good tag by Jack Higgins, uh, GB looked to play out from the back. Ireland up fast to make the tags and they're making them so far, they just need to try and force a turnover here, if they can force a turnover then perhaps they can squeeze a bit of momentum back, oh it's a kick through and it comes off the Irish player. So it's going to be GB ball. So I estimate we've got about seven minutes left in this game. Based on when the Hooter is scheduled to go. I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw six minutes, I thought uh, I probably, you know, I wasn't, almost wasn't surprised because of how much action had happened in a short space of time. Both sides will be pleased they've not got that long left though. Campopiano picks and goes. And he's still through. He's still through. He's still stopped. through. He's, got he's score. still through and he scores in the right hand corner. He thought he had been tagged first up. He almost gave up the run. He almost gave up the run, and we see that so often, a player going through, think they get tagged, they go back and end up giving the tag away. Amazingly, that time, Cap Campofiano switched back into attacking mode, and he's gone over. So there we see the moment where he thought, and so did the defender, that he'd been tagged. Another grab at his left tag, but he was over in the corner. Great Britain 5, Ireland 2. Oh, that's going to be offside. That is going to be offside. Ricochets off the Irish receiver into one in front of her. Uh, likely there, though, I think, to be a penalty against Great Britain. Huntington, first of all. GT Care wants to make sure players are OK. And, yep, he is awarding the contact penalty against GD. A three-point margin. That is one score in the bonus box for a woman. Yeah, it's, a big, it's a big lead with only five minutes left on the clock, though. Ireland could tie this up with one score. For well, Great Britain, mixed open, could scale heights. They could scarcely have dreamed of just a year ago or less than a year ago in Leeds. The ball lost forwards. Rowan White clears it up. Her break early in this second half, so instrumental in Reese Walker's try. Here he is. The ball back to Cod. Twists and turns. But the tag made by Ireland. Walker. There's the gap. There's the kick. It's going to beat him to the line, no, it's going to be a tap on the 10 to Ireland. In line, in line, in line. Inside yes. the final five. So it's all over the top. Rafferty, Nicole Rafferty makes decent yards down the wing, almost a halfway. But you feel they're going to need a moment of inspiration right now. They need something special, and there's a lot of tired looking bodies out there making mistakes. Yeah. So it looks not like they're not going to do it. Remember, they have played over a hundred minutes of tag rugby already just to get to half time in this game. In this heat, under this sun, with this much pressure as Rich Milford dances towards the Irish 10 metre line. What these players, what these athletes have gone through on both sides to get to this point. Championship minutes for either side. Pointer puts in the kick. Pointer will get the try. That is 6-2 to Great Britain. 6-2.
and well pointer as calm as you like if anyone who knows him off the field will know that is exactly his personality he brings it onto the field nonchalant score well it could be one of the most important scores in the recent history of great britain mixed open huge try more than one score game now for Ireland to come back. 6-2 Great Britain. Minutes remaining in the game. Well fielded Ireland. They will come again. They will not give up. This is the side that's won the last three mixed open categories at the British and Irish Cup. I think it dates back further than that, Barry. But three there, the first one. It does. I've, I've never known a Great Britain side to win Mixed Open since I've been involved Great in Britain tag rugby. Nev Great Britain well. have never won Mixed Open, but it's going to happen today from the looks Take of it. Because Ireland look like they're struggling to move the ball at this point. GB look like they have the bit between their teeth, and I think they're going to do it. Historic minutes. Take five, that's in final. Flair and Twistle, a key player in this Mixed Open side Inside. for the last few years. Calmly makes the tag. Walker just checks to see how close the oh. defenders are. He's going to use the time. Tip He's going to let that ball go oh dead. Yeah, He's going to Let's go fitting. calmly get it back to Towerton on, on the, the GB 10 meter line. There is no need for GB to rush, although uh, the they take too long. Of course, Huntington uh, will look to award the penalty for time wasting. Oh, oh, oh. Well. Towerton with a one, half yeah. break. Ampal, that Throw dummy half, Throw 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 plays it to the left. Riddler. For a Boom. moment, I thought that ball was going to spurt forwards out the hand. Campofiano picks Take and three. goes. Sadly, not able to make the World Cup due Mike to his Italian like cricketing well. commitments. But he will be involved in the day of days. So far, Ampal breaks through, puts in a little Take kick. One. Ireland one managing to come marker. away with it. Excellent. Take They're two. five Bring meters. From their try line. They're four points behind on the scoreboard with only moments remaining in this third test of the mixed open category. We do have one more game to bring you after this, the third test of the women's open category. Right now though, it is Ireland with possession. Shipping the ball from right to left. It's dropped but surely backwards. Ireland do play on. The little kick through Ampal managing to make the tag but well gathered by Ireland that was a good piece of attacking play it was a really great piece of attacking play as Luke Fitzgerald looks to go wide again to O'Driscoll O'Driscoll looks to break down the line she gets tagged I think that was the hooter so probably we only have a few seconds left now final play Ireland throwing it all at the wall Campofiano sweeps the ball up win for GB and with the British and Irish Cup congratulations win Terrible the mixed open category, category, category for the first oh, time in their history they drew the first game they won test two the and test, test three yeah. and with it provisionally provisionally i don't want to say anything yet barry provisionally that is the british and irish cup coming back to britain for only the second time in history women's open women's 30 mixed open and men's open all wrapped up. We wait for the result of the men's 40s third test that's just finished on pitch three. We'll, we will bring you that result as soon as we have it. They could be count back, Barry. Barry's telling me it's all over. They, they could be count back. You never know, Barry. I will not count my chickens until the trophy is in British hands. Goodness me, Barry. What a game. What a game. Swung one way and then the other. Ireland's, I mean, it's hard to say that, you know, four points down no in way. that game, they could have been so much closer. Yeah, it could have been. Like that was a that was a tough loss for Ireland because they did well to get back in the game to get two two one up, and you would have fancied them really to be honest from there. But GB just uh, responded straight away. They got two tries in the space of about a minute and a half to two minutes, which was three points, which put them back four two up. And they have to say they controlled pretty much the rest of the game. They put a tired Irish team to the sword and they deserve to win 6-2. Uh, a uh, mer very merited win for them in what looked like for three quarters of the game it was going to be actually really, really close. They actually pulled away just at the end and won it. Um, and with it, they take the trophy. So congratulations to Great Britain. It is going to be unbelievable scenes here at Kingshouse Sports Ground in Chiswick.
Barry Kira, you've got a cold pint coming your way from me. <laughs> but just the day of days uh, for, for GB right now. We will turn our attention to one more match on pitch one. Do stay with us for that and for the trophy presentation to come. I'm pleased to say back alongside me is Rach Livingston. Uh, having represented Women's Open before, there is perhaps no better person to co-commentate alongside Barry and I than, than yourself. That's very kind, Will. Thank you. I'll do my very best. <laughs> you've uh, you've been around the site as you uh, when you've not been up uh, in this uh, hot box with us commentating. I um, don't think it's much cooler outside, though. What are the games that you've seen as you've been going around? Yeah, I've tried to catch uh, most of them. The last Women's Open game, I caught kind of about half of it, and there was a stalemate for about 10 minutes with no no tries scored, and it's that classic thing as soon as you turn your back. Uh, Leah Alexander down the wing uh, and managing to scoot along the bottom and get into the box, which was, was fantastic. And I, I would guess that we'll see the same again, uh, ho hopefully, fingers crossed, uh, in this game. But but all of it's been fantastic. There's been, a, I think it was a 13-0 win for, for GB Mixed Open in the, in the second round, which is very exciting. Yeah, yeah, stunning result there, and uh, and then they managed to back it up in that third test, uh, which um, yeah was well just just wonderful to see. We know what that side has has been through over the last few years, and and to finally get the series win against Ireland, uh, just a, a, a real positive culmination of all of their hard work over the last few years, uh, and especially as we enter sort of a new era for for Great Britain mixed open.